All right, so habit stacking is a really powerful way of making sure that you do things that you need to do every single day. So what happens with most people is they have a few things that they want to do, right? Whether it's like getting fit, earning more money, or you know, writing that book that you've uh, always been dreaming about writing. But what happens is these things become difficult sort of chores or tasks, and you have to try and fit them into your schedule. And you think, okay, well I'll do, maybe I'll do meditation now, and then maybe I'll write a bit of my book when I come back from work. Maybe I'll go for a run after work, you know, I'll go to the gym. Maybe I'll work on my languages and practice speaking languages tomorrow morning. And what happens is because they're so scattered, right, all of these things that you're trying to do, they're so scattered and diverse, you lose track of what ones you've done and what you need to do, and it just doesn't happen. You spread yourself too thin and you can't do it. Whereas, right, if you actually stack these things on top of each other and do them all at the same time, this hair is just, okay. What happens is if you stack these things on top of each other and turn all of these small habits and tasks into one big task, and then do that big task first thing in the morning every time you wake up, it becomes so much easier because you're just focusing on one thing. You're just saying, okay, and you can call it what you like. Call it your master habit, right? You call it your habit chunking or whatever it is. The big habit that you're building is to work on all of these things that you want to do at the same time. So in the morning, for example, you could do something like this. So, so you could do something like this. So you can say, right, I need to meditate today, go to the gym, have a smoothie with some vitamins or whatever, walk, read, and do some writing. And instead of just having these as separate tasks, you actually combine them into one habit or one giant task and then do that every single day. And then what happens is when you start doing this every day, when you write down day one, day two, day three, right? This is my daily vlogs, but each day I've been doing several different habits all at the same time. When you get to about day number eight or seven or eight, it gets to the point, right? It gets to that really golden sort of sweet spot where it would be weird to stop. Okay, now no normally they say habits take about 20 to 30 days to form. It does take a few days to form a habit, but once you've got it, right, once you've been doing this stuff for every single day for a, a week or two weeks or a month, especially if you write down the days like I'm doing, like on the whiteboard where you write one, two, three, four, it becomes really hard to not do the next day because every single day is your longest streak. So if you get to day 30, it will be insane not to go to day 31 right? And in the same way that if you get to day 100, you can't not go to 101. You can't then start again at zero. You don't want to reset your game. So whichever day you land on, whether it's day five or day 50, it's going to be very difficult to stop and think, okay, well, I can't do it today because I don't feel like it. It just wouldn't happen, right? Whereas usually it would. Usually if you didn't do this, you would have days where you think, oh, we really don't feel like doing this stuff today. You know, maybe I'll just skip out on the gym and the walk, and maybe I'll do the other bits. But by putting it all into one chunk, right, by saying I'm going to do all of these things as one task, and then if you skip that whole day and don't get to write the number on the board or whatever, however you're writing it down, it's going to feel awful. Like, you're not going to want to do that. So you'll make it your mission to get that task done. And it's a, just a really simple way, this habit stacking, it's just a really simple way of making sure that you get what you need to get done done every single day. Now, the easiest way to start this, right, is to actually build on a habit you already have. So say if you have one morning habit, like meditation, or like writing your dreams down, or, you know, going and making a coffee, use that habit to build these other habits onto. Because then you can say to yourself, right, say, say if you're a coffee person, right, you always have a coffee in the morning first thing. You can then say to yourself, you can... You can say to yourself, right, here's what we're going to do. Every time I have a coffee first thing in the morning, I'm also going to have a meditation session. I'm then going to do 10 push-ups, and I'm then going to write some of my book. And you can build, build these habits on top of this one, because your brain already has this connection, right? You already, as soon as you wake up, think, right, I need to go and make a coffee. So use that to your advantage and say, okay, every time I make a coffee in the morning, I'll also meditate and then do push-ups and write and then and you can stack these habits on top of each other you don't have to build one giant habit first thing it's actually gonna be harder to do this if you've not got any habits at all to build on ideally you want to have one morning habit now if you don't have any sort of thing that you do every single morning if you don't have any morning routine whatsoever then 
in that situation, just try and start with one habit, right? Try and do one thing every morning for five minutes. Try and meditate for five minutes, for example. When you've done that for a couple of weeks and you've built that habit, then start stacking things and, you know, attaching things to that habit. If you jump in straight away and start trying to do 20 different tasks every morning all in one, it might be a bit overwhelming and you're probably not going to do it. So start with one task, right? Just every single morning, just meditate and then build on that. And so after two weeks say, okay, every time I meditate, I will also do 10 push-ups afterwards. I will then write a page of a book or whatever task you're trying to do. Like it might be studying for an exam. It might be trying to get fit, whatever it is, just stack the small actions that you can do every single day on top of the one that you've already got, which in this case, meditation.